Hello everybody, welcome back to Lair of the Overmind for part 22 of my pacifist Undertale playthrough. Gonna keep on keeping on after fighting Metaton and defeating Metaton. Uh, so sorry about that. Let's keep, keep going. Okay, let's do that. So, so, you're about to meet Asgore, huh? You must be... You must be pr pretty excited about all that, huh? Well, I mean, yeah, I get to go home and stuff, right? Hopefully. You, you'll f f finally... You'll finally get to go home. Well, yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Um... Well, well, wait. I mean, um, I... I was just gonna, uh, say goodbye, and... Uh-oh. Oh, oh you're gonna confess your undying love for us now? <laughs> I, I can't take this anymore. Oh, no. I, I... I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It's not? It, it takes at least a human soul and, and a monster soul. Uh-oh. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. Uh-oh, I can't do that. This is a pacifist playthrough. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm taking the elevator down to, uh, to the castle, I guess. This is kind of sad. It's also a freaking long elevator. Jeez. Any day now. Start freaking playing the Jeopardy music. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Huge trip. Well, here we are, I guess. Oh. This might be the last episode, maybe. We don't really have healing items. We should probably go get some healing items. This is going to be potentially the last episode. We're going to want to be able to recover. Speed elevator, there we go, thank you. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Alright, well, just so you guys don't have to sit through it, I'll just be right back after I get those healing items together. Alright guys, I made it back with some healing items. I just kind of went back to Burger Pants, picked up a few more Glam Burgers. Should serve us pretty good. Let's go ahead and just push on forward. Ah, uh, nice parallax mapping going on there. It's a lot of cool looking city buildings. Looks like a friend of mine is playing Assassin's Creed. Sounds great. Oh, that's a pleasant tune to play near the end of the game, supposedly. Another save point, Hotland. This, this kind of looks familiar. Um, did we? This Toriel's house. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen in the hallway. Um, if you were gonna let people through there to like talk to you and stuff, why would you lock it in the first place? It's kind of a bit confused. Oh, look, we got some presents. It's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? No, I'll leave it. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? No, I'll leave it. Don't need either of those. I got Patemi armor and I'm not fighting anybody, so. It's a family photograph, everyone is smiling. There are a lot of striped shirts in here. Cool beans. Dusty toys. What a comfortable bed. If you laid down here, you might not ever get up. It's a twin size bed, so the other bed's apparently way better. It's a golden flower. We've got a bunch of golden flowers. Asgore apparently liked these a lot, so I'm gonna guess Asgore's place. Obviously. Oh no. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Oh, so we're gonna get like a little origin story. That's cool. You took the key and put it in your on your phone's keychain. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Oh man, it's a king-sized bed for a king-sized king. It's a it's a 
bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Oh, how about that? It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dead Guy. It's a trophy. Number one noise, nose nuzzle champs 98. Oh, wow. It's pretty interesting. Despite everything, it's still you. It's a golden flower. Yeah, it, like you would have freaking changed somehow. <laughs> Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Okay. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. There is no fire. The coals are still warm. So apparently there was just a fire. Over time, Asriel the, and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Oh, how, how quaint. So what happened? The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Yeah, I have a feeling Asgor and Toriel are somehow connected to this, uh, to the story here with the human from past and Azrael or whatever. There is some white fur stuck on the drain. Of course. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. So he's also a fire magic user, huh? Interesting. Seems like gardening tools. Must like to do a lot of gardening. You unlock the chain. Yeah. All right. Let's get on with it. Oh, that's very melancholy. Then one day, because this is about to turn to what happened, the human became very ill. Oh no. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. That's sad. The next day, the next day, the human died. Aww. Sad story. Asriel. Oh man, uplifting, uplifting tone change. Racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Oh, there, there were books talking about that earlier. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Man, what a nice guy. Let me guess. We couldn't understand what was going on, so we killed him. As we reached the center of the village, there he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it, and the birth of Flowey, possibly. Ooh, a bunch of Shiren. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the boy child. Yeah. And tragedy struck. Right? The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But he didn't. But... Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Aww. Poor guy. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. Humans had once again taken everything from us. God. It's a sad day. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. And I'm the last one that he needs. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go, give us hope, and save us all. 
you should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Why? Because I'm gonna die? <laughs> so you guys can all be free? Why would that excite me? You're going to be free. How, is the, how do you figure that? I'm gonna be dead. <laughs> Elevator. Oh, all the way back to there. New home. Last corridor. File saved. Press on. Pressing on. Uh, Sans? Maybe? It's kind of how we met in the first place. So it would kind of make sense, I guess. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What? What's EXP? That's an acronym. It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. What? A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love 2 is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. Oh, jeez. Really, now? <laughs> A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced. Yeah, it was hard sometimes. You strive to do the right thing. You refused to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. <laughs> Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Escort will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill and if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped in the underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? I had to give up a couple of times. <laughs> That's right. You have something called determination. I do. So long as you hold on, and as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Thanks, I suppose. I don't know, part of me wants to kind of close the episode, but as this may be the finale, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. Throne room, which is up in there. Last corridor, throne entrance. I'm going to go ahead and see what's over this way before I go in there. A long way down. Oh, we've got some steps. A long bunch of steps, jeez. Oh, what? It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Chun. It's empty. Uh, not good. Not good at all. He already made me a coffin, huh? Oh, jeez. Well, that means stuff happens. Okay, let's go ahead and go on through. Bunch of flower bed. Oh my gosh, somebody played Sukoden. This looks just like the end of Sukoden. You kind of show up at the Emperor's Palace and he's in his, like, flower garden with his back to you and his cape and stuff. Yeah. Very, very much inspired by Sukoden, I believe. dum to dum Oh. Is there someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy! How can I... Hey. Oh! Kind of weird music. Dun, dun, dun. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, uh, you know how it is. Sure do. 
Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Per perfect weather for a game of catch. <laughs> now you seem like a nice guy, man. This isn't good. Dot, dot, dot. You know what we must do. When you are ready, uh, come into the next room, I guess. Well, I mean, there's nothing else to do. An entrance. Save. How tense. Just, uh, just think of it like, like a visit to the dentist. Oh gosh, I hate visits to the dentist. You want, you don't want me to think of it that way. Another save point. Wow. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Oh, do we have to? Can't we just be friends? Whoa! Ho ho ho! Whoa! Wow. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I think I pretty much covered everything. We had the date with Papyrus, we went and we hung out with Undyne. Don't think there was really anything else to do. I see. This is it, then. Yeah, I suppose so, buddy. Ready? I suppose. Ooh. The six other souls. Oh, this music. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. Oh god, this is getting me right in the feels. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with DETERMINATION! Human. Uh, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, no. Oh, that's a big spear. Oh, jeez. Oh, what? What? You shattered the mercy button? Oh, jeez. This just frickin' went to new heights of epic. Oh, my God. Talk to him. Quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Ah. Oh, jeez. Dude, don't do it. You tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Whoa. Holy crap. Oh, that music. Oh my god. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. Ah. Ah. Check. 80 80. Oh my gosh. Oh man, that's not cool. Uh, act. Talk. Seems talking won't do any more good. Come on, Asgore. You know you don't want to do this. Looks like we don't have a choice. We have to fight him. Oh. Jeez, no. I don't want to do it, man. Oh my god. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Whatever. Watching all of that. Legendary hero. You beat the legendary hero. Attack increased by four. Your HP was maxed out. Ah. Uh, get him. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay, not having too much trouble. I'm getting him. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa there, Nelly. Sorry, Asgore. I don't want to do it, but I got to... There we go. Man, this is 
so intimidating. Ah. You won't defeat us, Asgore. Sorry. Snap, critical hit. Whoa. Oh man, that music has friggin' got me pumped. Talking won't do any more good. Come on, man, you know you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it, man, you don't want to do it. You're too nice of a guy, man, come on. don't think we have a choice. Talking won't do any more good. And we li we literally cannot mercy him anymore. So we're just gonna have to hope for the best and fight. Whoa! Got a little upset there for a moment, Asgore, what the hell? Okay, we were halfway, we we're a little bit over halfway done. My gosh. So fast. We can do it though. Uh, dang it. Gonna have to survive one more turn before I heal at least. Woo! Come on, we got this. Nelly. Oh, dang it. Asgore, we didn't want to do that. Oh, so that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface and priests. Priests. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one, this war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. No. No, I won't do that. I refuse. After everything I've done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer? That, then live happily on the surface? Human, I, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories. Ah, well it looks like I don't get to go home, but at least I have a peaceful resolution, right? Eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. Yeah, we could, it's true. Oh no, 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 Flowey, no. Oh, you son of a bitch. You've got to be fucking kidding me right now. Excuse the language. Jeez, no. Oh my god, really? Really? You idiot! You haven't learned a thing in this world. It's kill or be killed. No. No. What are you doing?